so this is this is mic number one. We're 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 gone we've gone live. For some reason Myriad seems to have stopped. Are we definitely live? Yeah, yeah, we're live now. Oh, hello guys. Yeah. We're just the, getting set up slowly here. We are getting set up slowly. Um but we've we we were gonna we we're gonna borrow a little bit of time. This is Will and John from the We Don't Know show. Yep. We and also uh, help out with the wild show on Thursday mornings as well. And um Luke is Luke is not well. It, Luke, if you're listening, I hope, hope, you, hope you get better soon. Hope you get better soon, Luke, and we're, we're, we're and the, thinking um, of you. And <laughs> the <laughs> classical journey gets back, which it, I'm sure it will, uh, next week or soon. Um, so, But we thought we'd, we'd start a little bit early because we could play um, an extract from a conference because we're going to go to... Bet, Bet. next week. And yes. We're all, we're getting John, just explain what we're doing. We're doing there. Well, Go, come a bit closer to the mic. We're investigating what what they've got to offer in terms of um, teaching. Uh, it's basically a technology show, but it's largely for 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 people in the education sector. So, it's basically seeing how a technology would maybe or possibly or you would hope get used in um um schools um and or around the education sector but we're not quite sure how it gets used so that's why we're going to the vet show to have an explore around and see what's see what's going on and report back to you lovely people our lovely we not know audience exactly and the the other aspect of it is that there there will be uh, radio equipment there. There's yes. there's several stands that uh, help schools to have radio. There's also uh, universities and further education or adult educational people just finding the stuff anyway through the web. Or it does also tie in with the gadget show. We think we think a lot. We are we're going to go to the gadget show. The gadget show live is in Birmingham. Yeah, in so we April, have, we have quite a lot of planned coming up this these couple of months, don't we? Really? Well, we do, and we're going to keep an eye online as to what's going on as well. Yeah. Because it isn't just these great events in oh, big cities. I do like going to these. <laughs> oh, I think we. Yeah, yeah, No, it's nice to go there, but we we get the odd clue uh, uh, online, online, and people we meet in Exeter as well. People we meet in this lovely Devonshire capital town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's people we meet who've got an got a view on um, how a computer works with education. Yes, I'm sure there are there are there are people that we can talk to, and we also talk to a lot of people about radio and uh, social media and technology and so forth. And we're going to have a raffle. I think we should just mentioned the raffle. Yes. Um because it was inspired by the Gadget Show approach. Yeah, you can like that on Facebook. What's it called? The FM Gadget Raffle, I think. So, if you if you if you want to support our FM Gadget Raffle uh, Raffle um uh, um uh, cause or event, the then hmm. please do like us on Facebook and whatever you can do to contrib- con- uh, contribute it would be great well, we'll let we'll let you know you can't actually buy a ticket at the moment because we're not sure what well, no. what we're go- what we're going to bring back from well, the no. gadget show well, no, but we they, don't know what the prizes are yet they could they could like they could like they could like the page and show and show us their support they could and and they'll be the first to know when when the tickets are available yes and to show to show to show even more support, you can follow us on Twitter and keep up to date with what we're actually doing on Twitter, which is we not know W E N O T N O W E N O T N O. Anyway, look what what I thought we'd do. We're going to run a little bit into our time, but we've we've sort of borrowed some time out of the classical journey, and uh, this is a bit unusual. We're not quite sure how it's going to work because we only decided on it today. But we're going to play um, an, a, a clip from YouTube, which is uh, John Crouch. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going away from the mic just to get to, get to the screen. Um, this is John John Crouch is Apple's vice president of education, and there's a, a YouTube clip by Relay Ventures, 
and uh, we've we've noticed that he's he will be one of the speakers at bet next week and um previously we thought there wasn't going to be any sort of official apple presence at bet but that turns out that turns out to be wrong and ju- just as a bit of background john you 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 are quite sympathetic to apple i'm not going to say you're a raving fanatic i support apple quite a lot and um, so say, just say a little bit more about that, why, why that's the case. Well, I've, I've actually... you probably heard me talk about it on the Wild Show as well. I support Apple quite a lot because I think the way they take access, accessibility into account is absolutely amazing. And I, I believe that other phone... That other phone... Um, that that, that other, other developers should be also doing this as well. The way Apple do it is absolutely amazing. Other phones, you have to, you have to pay, x more money, more money for the for, for the for the for the reading and talking software to get installed, which is an absolute disgrace, um, in my book. And Apple actually, yes, you pay you pay a lot of money for their for their for their project for their products. I'm not disputing that, but the way they the, the, you know the way they think about it, it's all built in the way they think about that the way they think about it is absolutely phenom- phen- phenomenal of that my my speech is slurred this morning <laughs> sorry guys don't don't worry about that it's don't absolutely worry. it's absolutely gr- it's absolutely amazing and I, I i support apple for that reason at this time um there is no other maybe maybe when other when maybe when other phone developers start competing with Apple as far as their accessibility is concerned because it's all about access for me and a, and a heck of a lot of other people out there um, and that's why you will find a lot of visually impaired people and blind people have got iPhones because Apple are really great as far as their accessibility is concerned I'm just going to mention other phones are available. Other phones and, are available. And we are approaching Bet with a totally open mind, aren't we? Yes. When I talk about the iPhone, though, I'm only talking about one thing. I'm not talking about I, the iCloud service or anything else like that. But f- from an accessibility standpoint, accessibility, they, they, at this time, I don't believe any other company are competing or any other developer are competing with Apple the way they should be. Because... Some of the other phones are great, and they do some great things. And it's a great shame that 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 their that their accessibility is not one of them. Because if 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 it was, maybe that would steer me away from Apple a bit. Simple as really. Well, we'll just we'll just. Um, but other phones. As are, I say, keep, yes. Other phones are available, guys. So we will be looking at um, at what else is available at, at Bet. Yes, Both for phones really and huge. and gadgets and so forth. I'm not looking at I'm not looking at our products, are they? No, no. <laughs> well, they're not there really. Apart from this John Couch person who's the speaker, <laughs> there is no official <laughs> Apple stand. But they they are in the background, obviously. Yes. But I think I think the Apple dealers and um, supporters have got together and they have a stand, and uh, they will talk frankly about Apple. <laughs> but. Uh, until until this news that John Couch was going to be there. Now, the, the other thing I think I should say is that this, this clip that we found on YouTube, um, I think was for a, a, a Californian conference of people who were possibly thinking of investing in various projects. So it sort of comes over that they're mostly interested or it's part of their concern that they have a viable project. So they're, they're talking about education as a potential uh, centre of disruption in that it gives them opportunities. I think it's fair to say that's that's part of how they're looking at it. But it includes um, some views on education and, and d- disruption in education. Whether you'll put, the, put it in exactly the same way for the audience at BET, we, we don't know. No, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. What and happens. And how it's reported, <laughs> so forth. Um, but I, And we may interrupt this every so often. Uh, if it if it if it needs some comment, if we feel like commenting, we may we may interrupt this. Um, and I should also say this is Phonet FM, one hundred six point eight. Because twenty minute break without saying that. One hundred six point eight FM. And if you're listening outside of the extra area, you can listen. You can listen on www.phonic.fm. Um, and if you well, and if you want to 
call us out if you're calling from outside the Excel area, it's 01392. Remember to put 01392 in front of four, three, four, five, seven, seven. Because you're not going to get us if you don't put 01392 no. in front of. No. <laughs> no. Or or studio, the, the email. Studio at phonic.fm if you want to email us. Or we not know on on Twitter. On, on Twitter. And this will carry on through through this week and next week. Um, we'll be we'll be talking about bet and ver- various aspects of it. And um, we we if you if you want to see this on on YouTube and look at all the diagrams which come up. Uh, it's it's called SM two o one four Education's Digital Future, and it was uploaded by Relay Relay Ventures, and you, so you can find it on YouTube. But we're we're just going to play the sound. So uh, let me just put that up. Okay, this is um, Kevin Talbot is 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 introducing this, but the the main speaker is John Crouch. <laughs> 